Hey folks, this is Lazy Hiker. I'm at the Squaw Flats Trailhead in Canelands National Park, Needles District. Uh, today, we go into Peekaboo Springs. So we're here, Squaw Flats. We're gonna just go take this route all the way and back. Pretty simple route. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty scenic. I have been on this part of it. This part especially, well, all of this is scenic. So, this is not so much. If any of these trails I wouldn't go on again, it would be this one. Well, the trail splits right away about 50 feet down the trail. Squall Canyon is left, Lost Canyon, and Peekaboo Springs, which is where we're heading. Nice view, though. This first part of the walk is over some flat terrain through the Squall Flats. So, uh, but still, it's scenic and nice. It's a nice change from all the climbing of all the, the canyon walls, which we have a little climb ahead of us there. We'll go over, over the top of that and back down and do a couple more of those, but then we'll, we'll do some climbing later. Well, we're up on this rock hump and we're going down there. You can see the trail down there. And it's gonna lead us around to the edge and we're gonna go just to the right of the outcropping. Let's see if I can show you. Right there. That's where the trail's heading. All right, we've come one mile almost exactly through mostly flat trail. We went to Peekaboo Springs, it's now 3.9 miles. It was 5.4 at the beginning. We traveled a mile and now it's 3.9. So somehow we walked a mile and a half in uh, a mile. So I think the actual distance to Peekaboo Springs is five miles there. So that's more accurate. Let's go. And we'll head up and around to the right over that saddle there. At nearly the two mile mark, you have to climb down this little ladder. It's not very tall, but it's helpful. So on your way back, just remember, once you get the ladder, just two miles left. Quiet this morning. There's windy up on top, there's no breeze here. It's eerie. Now we get to the bottom and we have to walk through a sandy wash for a little ways. But then you get out of the wash and you get to walk on a nice flat trail for a little while. Next trail sign. If we took a right, we'd go up uh, Lost Canyon. You can get back to Squall Flats that way. But we came from this direction to the right, and it says 2.6 miles, which that's pretty close because my GPS says 2.5. That's the closest we've been so far. But it says Peekaboo Springs 2.8. So we're back to 5.4, but that doesn't add up. So we are going to continue on. Sometimes you gotta wonder about these trails. Would it be too much to put in a step occasionally?
Definitely a pretty steep climb coming back out of this canyon. Well, it's barely sprinkling now on us now. You can see it's raining over there. That ascent was difficult. We're still going up a little bit, but pretty much to the top. But there's a couple places I didn't think I could, was going to make it. Well, neither one of my GPS apps shows the trail we're on. They show the Lost Canyon Trail and the Squaw Canyon Trail all the way up to the last uh, intersection, but they don't show this. So I'll. I, I have to rely on old time maps. <laughs> the Cairns go down that way. I don't know if we really want a, a right around that way. I doubt it because that's in the Lost Canyon. Or if we're going to go around the edge there and then maybe over that saddle straight ahead. That's the most logical at the moment, but we'll follow the Cairns and see where they lead us. Well, I guessed right. And we're at that saddle I mentioned, looking the other way. A little breezy up here, a little cool because of the rains. They did stop and my I took my poncho off. But it's at the top just in case. So see we're gonna go way down there I don't know how far around or if we're gonna go down that thing I doubt it we'll probably go over that again nice lush Canyon wooden shoe over there and our trail continues well I'm not over fond of this trail so far that section when we just passed the junction to the Lost Trail we had to start climbing it was way too difficult for just a hiking trail because you had to do some rock climbing and then on these benches you have to go around several benches around and around and these rock cairns these rock cairns are way too widely spaced so you really have to search for them so there's one there the next one I see is way up there and there's one down here so wah, wah, wah. definitely a nice view when you get to the top of this one Especially looking this way, the way we're going. Down, down. Getting a little reflection of the light. Through the clouds. So this big old rock here, if you can remember it in some way. This is the four mile mark. Looks right over this canyon. A little short one. And we're going to go around. Stay on this rock. We've been on this rock for a mile and a half. So maybe another mile that we're on it. Lots of rock walking.
road down there. Can't be too far off. We're looking through a gap in the rock right here. Trail continues on this way. Looks like the trail follows this ridge all the way down there. Then we have to go down to the bottom. The bad part of that means we have to come back up. But that's the end of the trip. And there's water down there in the creek I can see. Well there's Salt Creek. There's a trail on the right side. Salt Creek Trail. Looks like some picnic tables or something. Whatever that green, those green things are. Looks like just beyond that is the outhouse. Another ladder. This one leads us into a hole. It is quite steep and long. Boy, at the cactus down here. So at the bottom of the ladder, we're at 4.8 miles. We're at the Indian Pictographs at the Big Blue Hole, so I was wrong twice. And Peekaboo Spring is through here and down to the right. Easily found once you know where to go. We go through here and down to the watering hole, I guess you'd call it. Well, I don't know if this is Peekaboo Spring or if this is just a puddle in the river. <clears throat> Or if this is a spring, there's a lot of tadpoles in there. Glad I'm gonna get some water from here. Straight ahead between those two trees behind that little bush, or past that little bush, I was laying in my hammock reading. It's been about an hour there. A little over. Then it started to rain. So I ran across over here under this little alcove which I cannot really even sit under. I'm having to lay down if you can see me. So the water's dripping off of the edge here. And I'm hoping it doesn't last forever. If it does, I'll have to put my poncho on and head on. But I don't want to go over all this slick rock in the rain. I prefer not to. There's a the little shelter I took refuge in. Read a little bit. Rain stopped. I let it uh, hopefully dry up a little bit before I have to head up that ridge all the way to the top. I'll be right on the other side of those top rocks and then go around and be in open open rock for almost two miles. So hopefully no rain until then. The skies are blue a little bit in that direction. I was just down at the end there that's where all the wind was and I just just a few feet down the trail there's no wind here hardly at all slight slight breeze we're back at the hole where the trail goes through And 
if you have a backpack on like me, you have to crawl through it. Well, I'm back at the rock. That means I have four miles to go. I've got to mention this little segment. I just came across it again. So, I suppose maybe you could go up on this white part. Might be a little better, which I didn't do. But then you'd have to come down there. So this is a very narrow part and it's at an angle. And if you unbalance yourself, you got 50 feet straight down. So a little scary. <clears throat> Well, we're down off the ridges, back into the bottom of a canyon. This is one we're going to have to go down a wash in a little bit, and then we'll get back to the ladder. I'm at the top of this last bluff, going back on the Peekaboo Trail sun's coming out it's, it's still um, it's coming from that direction so it's you can't see well in that direction but it's a great view looking back the way we came much prettier in the light of the evening for the day we're back at the trailhead so hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching the lazy hiker and enjoy your hike